this video is going to be on ear stretching. It's not called gauging. It's not called gauge. So when people say I'm going to gauge my ears or I'm going to I'm gauging my ears. No, that is grammatically incorrect. Gauge is the size. So basically they're saying I'm going to size my ears. That doesn't make sense. Right? Because it's a, it's a size measurement. So it's just grammatically incorrect. So people that usually say that usually do not know what they're talking about. And they might know what they're talking about, but at the same time, it it doesn't seem like they know what they're talking about because if they're going to call it that, it's just wrong. There's different names for different types of ear jewelry. Right now, I'm wearing some single flare plugs with an o-ring on the back yeah and it's at half inch so yeah I'm gonna skip 9 16 and then go to 5 8 because most people skip 9 16 anyways but yeah that's the last size I'm gonna go to anyways onward with the with the advice this is a taper one of the stretching um, one of the sh stretching jewelries people use, because it's small to big. You enter it like this, small ways, and just push, and if it's kind of hard to push, you'll leave it in there to open up the hole, and then continue pushing, and when you first, oh, it has O-rings, by the way, and those are like backings on earring, but when you first stretch, it may hurt. But usually, after the first stretch, it doesn't hurt anymore because your ears are getting used to it. Or at least I feel like my ears are getting used to it. Another jewelry that you can use that I don't have on hand are spirals or pinchers. Pinchers are kind of like... Uh, oh, wait, no, I do have a pincher. But it's not a stretching pincher. It's more like weight. Like, weights. But this is what a pincher kind of looks like, but without these screw-ons. So yeah, that's a pincher that you can use. And spirals, you know what spirals look like. They go from big, from small to big. I don't have any at hand right now because I just sold mine like two weeks ago. And then people say don't wear tapers as jewelry, but I haven't found any problem with wearing them as jewelry. Just because, I don't know, it's different for different people. And my ears are fine with wearing the mesh jewelry. So, yeah. Most people say follow it after with a plug or, or a tunnel. These are what tunnels look like. I recommend using a metal tunnel with a first stretch. Oh, O-rings on it. Metal tunnel for a first stretch for a fresh stretch because you know obviously because it's just better overall cuz I don't know how to explain it but you kinda get what I mean hopefully when your ear is healed you may use silicone tunnels plugs yeah Tunnels or plugs. I like the silicone tunnels. They're the only ones I had. Yeah, only ones I have. I've ever had. But anyway. To use it, press down like that. And then fold it in half. So then it'll look like that. And then pop it in your ear. And open it up. Yeah, silicone is kind of pricey. As so is are these tunnels. And then tapers, when you go bigger sizes, are kind of pricey. So I say get spirals because you, they, you can wear them as jewelry and they look cool. But I like plugs. Another type of plug is right now I'm wearing um, I think it's plastic, or it could be acrylic. I'm going with plastic but anyway. Are these glass tunnels? Yeah, I mean, not tunnels, plugs. Pfft, tunnels. Ugh, sorry, mixing it up. But these are glass plugs. The back 
it's not really a full on plug, but it it's kind of a plug. Or in the sense of a plug, because you can't see through it. But glass is kind of pricey. This was 24 and it came with two, but the other one wasn't the size it says it was supposed to be, so I never used it. I don't know what I did with it, so I can't sell it. But anyway, um, do not use wood to stretch wood tunnel, wood plug. I don't think they make wood tapers, but do not use that to stretch. Wood is wood is organic. It is made for healed ears. Um, and I say silicone. Um, plastic and acrylic. Um, be careful if you have sensitive ears because you might be allergic to any of those. Thankfully, my ears aren't. I did. I do have a sensitive ear, but it's not sensitive to any of those. Thank God. But um, yeah. Just be careful if you have sensitive ears because a lot of people are allergic to silicone. Never heard of anybody allergic to acrylic or plastic, but it could happen. Nah, right now. Um, it's different for different years. And let's talk about the point of no return. I put those in quotations because it's different for everybody. Most people say zero or double zero are the point of no return. And I think it really depends on the elasticity of your ears. Some are more, you know, elastic than others, but it just all depends on your skin on your body. Bodies are different to different people. But just know, if you are planning to stretch your ears, you have to know. If you want them to go back to an 18 gauge, which is the size of a normal piercing, um, you do not want to pass the point of no return then. Because if you pass it, it's kind of harder for it to go back. It's not saying it's impossible. Because some people I've known have done it. But it takes way longer. And you never know if it's going to go back all the way. Because it just depends on your own body. Another thing to talk about now. Is how to care for ear funk. Ear funk happens when dead skin builds up onto the piercing itself. And that's because you don't take it out when you take a shower. When it's a fresh stretch, you should wait three days before you take it out. But if it's healed, take it out every time you take a shower. After three days after the fresh stretch, you can take it out all the time when you take a shower. But make sure when you take it out, you wash it with soap and water at least, you know, to clean up all the dead skin cells on it while you were sleeping overnight or however long you left it in there before you take it out. And when you take a shower, make sure you, you know, wash it like you wash your body, soap and water. And it will open up your pores in your stretched ear and it will just clean it. And then you just put back the jewelry as normal. And yeah, um, you do not want to get ear from because it smells like rotting bodies rotting carcasses and it stinks and when you take out your jewelry people will be able to smell it they'll get on your hands when you touch it and your fingers will smell unless you use like lotion or hand sanitizer or something to get rid of the smell but it's gross um things that can happen when you stretch your ears wrong you can get cat butt cat butt basically is when the ear inside well i can't well, it doesn't really, l it kind of looks like, like, that part. Like, it's all shriveled up on the inside, and just looks like a cat, but, um, another thing, if you stretch too fast, you can get a blowout. Blowout happens when the inside of your skin, the inside of your ear, stretch, ear whole skin, pushes out to the back, and that's because you stretch too fast, or, you know, you push too hard on it and yeah it's gross um a way to treat that is using vitamin E oil or jojoba oil J -O -J -O -B -A, I believe that's how it's spelled I don't have any on hand cause I need to go pick
pick them up. But yeah, those are good to use to help your ear, you know. And it's just good to use to massage onto your ear, you know. But if you do get a blowout, downsize and then use jojoba oil until the, you know, until the blood is gone and then you can stretch back up to the size you were um what else oh um if you stretch too fast you can, your ears can tear it can thin and it will tear if you stretch too fast be careful I say the shortest amount of time you can wait before you stretch is two weeks. Um, but I say wait three weeks to a month because it's just better for your ears to heal. Because blood flow is very irrelevant to the ears, especially the lobes. It's very irrelevant, so you should wait longer anyways because it's more smarter. Um, and just make sure you really care for your ears because once you screw up, you screw up and you don't want that to happen. Yeah, mine are perfectly a half inch. But this is what they look like after. Without, oh, no, I don't want to do it that way because I have the O-ring in the back. Yeah, it easily comes off even though it's a single flare. Should never easily come off the top like that. That means I'm ready for another stretch, but I'm not going to stretch it yet. Mm, you can see that's what it looks like. I'm not. I could stick a whole, my whole pinky in there, and I could stick this whole battery in there. I've done it before, but that's gross. So, to show on camera, so no. But yeah, make sure you care for it. Like you really gotta care for it. It may sound like a bitch to do. Yeah, it may sound like a bitch to do, but, you know, it's worth it in the end for the best results. And stretching is not for everybody, and I advise to do at your own risk. Because once you screw up, like I said, you screw up, you screw up, and there's no return. So, most people start with, like, a 16 gauge, which is, like, what is, like, um, sizes go every two sizes, so it's like a size after normal piercing, but I recommend starting with a 10, not because it's a big jump. Most piercers advise starting with a 10, at least the ones that I've asked advise starting with a 10, just because, you know, what do you want to call it? It helps your ears get used to stretching afterwards it won't hurt anymore i started with a 10 and after that it didn't hurt after every stretch oh don't skip sizes you can skip well at least i've skipped only once and it's okay went from a four to a zero i skipped two but it's not bad if it, it's only bad if you do it more often and if you don't know what you're doing but if you skip, take your time stretching to the skip because, I mean, you can screw up. You can get a blow cat butt, or tear your ears. Um, what was the other thing that I was gonna say? Oh, don't stretch too fast. Wait at least three weeks to two weeks. I say waiting four weeks is way better. I waited about probably seven weeks or m more depending on depending on how I w how long I want to keep the size that I'm at. One time I waited like what, like three months or something. That was because I thought I was going to stay at that size but I didn't. Size varies from place to place, so buy from an authentic shop. I know what I'm talking about.